Hi, welcome to the discussion of isometric projections. Under this isometric projections, now we will discuss how to draw isometric view of a square when the square plane is uh, vertical as well as uh, plane is horizontal. Now, this is the front view of a square plane. This is the front view of a square plane. For this, we have to draw the isometric view. So, first of all, we have to decide what are the length lines and what are the height lines here as it is a front view so that b dash e dash and a dash d dash are the length lines a dash b dash and c dash d dash are the height lines that is this particular square butler square say horizontal measurement or horizontal axis parallel line is c dash b dash and a dash d dash whereas Vertical axis parallel line is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. In the case of isometric uh, projections, the horizontal measurements to be tilted with an angle of 30 degrees to the reference line, whereas vertical measurement lines to be drawn with an angle of 90 degrees to the reference line. As a first step, draw reference line after drawing reference line then draw y axis then x axis next again y axis and then z axis so this is x axis line and this one is y axis this is z and this is y as i said earlier the lines which are parallel to the horizontal plane to be tilted with an angle of 30 degrees to the x y line here i want to keep point B on the ground, point B on the ground here, so that the BC to be tilted with an angle of 30 degrees to the XY line, 30 degrees to the XY line. So this is the X axis, whereas A dash B dash, A dash B dash is vertical, A dash B dash is vertical. Now, with compass, say B A dash as a radius, B as a center, draw an arc, then B as a center with the same radius draw another arc, that is say A B C, see this is the orthographic projection and this is the isometric projection, in the case of orthographic projections we use lower case letters, in the case of isometric projections we use capital letters. In order to find the point D, what we have to do is as C D C D is parallel to A B. So at B draw a line at C draw a line parallel to A B. Then That is the square the square face when it is vertical and tilted towards right this is the isometric view of the square the square actually it's a square but in isometric it looks like a rhombus suppose when it is tilted towards left so that is it is going to stand on c then cb line is parallel to horizontal plane 
that's why the CB line to be drawn with an angle of 30 degrees to XY line 30 degrees to XY line whereas CD is vertical CD is vertical so CD with compass take C as a center CD as a radius draw an arc Similarly, C as a center with the same radius, draw another arc here, say B and this one is D. In order to locate point A, AB is parallel to CD. At B, draw a line parallel to CD with the help of the drafter. So first one when the face is vertical and tilted towards right, second one when the face is uh, vertical tilted towards left. The main key point here to remember is the lines which are parallel to the horizontal plane are tilted with an inclination of 30 degrees to the ground line and the lines which are uh, uh, perpendicular to the horizontal plane are parallel to the vertical plane are uh, tilted with an angle of 90 degrees to the ground line now this is the top view of a square this is the top view of a square how to draw this uh, square in uh, isometric view so for that we have to see that as four sides are parallel to the horizontal plane because it is a top view if it is a top view all four sides of the square are parallel to the horizontal plane that means all four sides need to make an angle of 30 degrees to the ground line. So first to draw X reference line that is ground line. After drawing the ground line then draw 30 degrees inclination line to the left that is to be a Z axis and another 30 degrees inclination line towards right that is x axis this is z axis and this is x axis after drawing x axis and z axis so with bc bc i am keeping b point on ground no then this bc to be tilted 30 degrees ba also to be tilted with 30 degrees so B as a center, B A as a radius, draw an arc left and draw another arc right. Then say A B C. In order to locate uh, D point, what we have to do is parallel to A B, parallel to A B, passing through C with drafter say D parallel to BC passing through D here this side is making an angle 30 degrees this is also making an angle 30 degrees if you observe it AD also making an angle 30 degrees to the XY line even CD also making an angle 30 degrees to the reference line actually it's a square the square looks like a rhombus in isometric view that's about the construction of isometric view of a square when the plane is uh, vertical this a bit is when the plane is vertical b bit is when the plane is horizontal now we will see the uh, isometric view of a rectangle now we will see 
how to draw rectangle in isometric view the given problem is the rectangle is having the measurements of 60 by 40 and we have to draw isometric view of a rectangle when the plane is uh, vertical as well as when the plane is horizontal now this is the orthographic projection of a rectangle that is a dash b dash c dash d dash here we have to observe that b dash c dash side and a dash d dash side are parallel to horizontal plane a dash b dash d dash c dash are parallel to vertical plane that is the lines which are parallel to the horizontal plane are to be tilted with an angle of 30 degrees to the ground line and the lines which are parallel to the vertical plane are to be drawn with an angle of 90 degrees to the ground line here the line cb as well as ad to be drawn with an angle of 30 degrees to the ground line whereas ab and dc to be drawn with an angle of 90 degrees to the ground line now we will see when the face is uh, vertical and tilted towards left tilted towards left so first i am drawing uh, 30 degrees inclination line left and vertical line say z axis as well as y axis after that with compass cb as a radius c as a center draw an arc and again with compass cd as radius c as a center draw an arc after that In order to locate point A, see that CD line and BA line are parallel. So that with drafter arrange in such a way that the scale is parallel to CD line and at B draw line parallel to CD line. Say A then parallel to CB so we have to use capital letters here this is when the face is tilted towards left and it is standing on C corner on the ground suppose if it is standing on corner B standing on corner B then BA is uh, vertical BC to be tilted towards right at an angle of uh, 30 degrees then with compass take BC as radius draw an arc BC as radius draw an arc then BA as radius draw an arc on the y axis A, C. Next, as you know, BA is parallel to CD. Now, align the drafter scale to BA and draw a line passing through C parallel to BA. Say D, then join DA. It is when the rectangle is standing on C and uh, face is tilted towards left this is this type of image we have to place it and it is standing on B and tilted towards right like this we have to draw it and when the plane is horizontal when the plane is horizontal means this rectangular plane is uh, front view is already completed now we are going towards the top view if the plane is parallel to the horizontal plane then all four sides are parallel to the 
horizontal plane that means all four sides need to make an angle of 30 degrees to the xy line or ground line 30 degrees to the ground line so this is z axis and this is x axis now i know b as a center b as radius draw an arc on the z axis and b as a center bc as radius draw an arc on the x axis Now, as you know, BC is parallel to AD. At A, draw a line parallel to BC with the given BC measurement. After that, as you know, AB is parallel to CD. At C, draw a line parallel to AD. Sorry draw a line parallel to AB. Now name this point as D. So this is the isometric view of a rectangle when it is horizontal and this is the isometric view of a rectangle when the plane is vertical. Actually in the case of uh, isometric view of a rectangle we will get parallelograms. That's about the discussion of construction of a isometric view of a rectangle. I hope everyone understood well. Thank you.